Hello, my name is Braylon Brooks, and I'm your host with Singster.tv, and I'm rocking in on the green carpet, 7th Annual Eco Emmy Awards Gifting Suite with Katrina Parker from The Voice, baby. And she is look, rocking it in a red hot chili pepper dress. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what brings you out today. You know what? I absolutely. First of all, this is beautiful setting. I mean, the Pickford Mansion. Oh, yes, and you're matching the logo, kind of. What? Stop it. And I mean, obviously, the causes. Everything that's that's happening here today makes me very happy. So, so I'm a huge fan of this. I love it. So, what season were you on on The Voice? I was on season two. So, tell me where. Tell me a little bit about that. It was amazing. It was terrifying. <laughs> I know. A lot of pressure and a lot of competition and bullshit. And narcissist. It was amazing. Narcissist. Yes, exactly. Um, it was it was pretty incredible. It was wonderful. It was terrifying. I mean, it changed my life. The fact that I can do music full time now is pretty incredible for me. I never even dreamed about that like two years ago. So well, it, you was, know it was what? incredible. It's you know a good opportunity. I love that. You know what my quote is? Make it happen even if the rest of the world says it's impossible. And you did that. Oh, I like the way you think. I'm going to put that on my bathroom wall. You just need the picture. It says Braylon Brooks at the thing. So I have to ask you because we're doing a campaign and we would like to know what is the greatest album of all time? But before you answer, I want you to think about this and I want you to really get into your toes and get into the dress and feel everything that I just said. What is the greatest album of all time? And I need a really, really good answer. Oh my goodness, you know this is way too much pressure. It's pressure, it's just like The Voice. <laughs> just like season two in The Voice. <laughs> you know, I mean honestly, Dolly Parton, any album that she made, in the 70s or 80s, to me, was the greatest album of all but time. I need you to name. I, oh my God, a name, a name. Name that. I would name like her greatest hits. I love it. <laughs> her greatest hits. No, I mean, she has written so many amazing songs, and I don't think people realize beneath the nails and the hair and all the stuff she's had done that she's a really smart lady, and she's one of the most iconic songwriters of my generation. Besides so. The Oh, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. So I love it. Thank you for that answer. So where can the fans follow you? Where can the viewers like reach you? Twitter, Facebook, Who Say? Where can we stalk the shit out of you? You know, I'm on Who Say. I don't know what the address is, but I do know I'm very easy to find on Twitter, Katrina P. Music. I am on it all the time. I don't post food photos, but I do post photos of my dogs. And I don't post food photos, but you know why? Because I say that it's a lot. Of, somebody who's reading my tweet may, it may am less fortunate than I am in possibly maybe hungry oh. so I, I stopped posting food photos a long time ago that's but anyway Miss America of you I like thank you <laughs> Mr. America that's a new campaign we're gonna start I love it that's great and I'm happy you brought it with your red hot chili pepper baby because you styling and profiling can you say that just happened that just happened with scenester.tv with scenester.tv